Today is December 16th and I'm out here at the job site. We've got a lot of activity going on. We've got the uh, plumber and electrician very involved. The plumber is taking now the CR and the, the sinks and all the required piping that has to go under our slab when we get ready to pour. The construction guys are, are busy building scaffolding to support the uh, forms for the concrete roof we're going to install. And I've got my electrician uh, putting in a lot of extra outlets that I've learned over the years. You know, you, when you have a garage, you always say, boy, I wish I had a, a lot of extra electrical outlets. So I'm not making that mistake again, and we're going to put quite a few and make sure that the, the power can handle what, what I'm going to be operating in that garage. So let's go down and take a look. Right now we've got a lot of scaffolding going in. We're using a combination of cocoa lumber and bamboo to build some risers that the workers are using to get high enough to construct forms for the concrete floor. And, uh, this bamboo is surprisingly strong. We've got our plumbers over there laying some piping for the sink as well as the CR. I'm going to try to make my way over there and take a look. Our electrician is adding all those outlets that I wanted. I'm outside here on the left hand corner. This is going to be the inlet from our main, basically the water main coming in from Prime Water Company. And out here, I think, under the staircase, I'm going to create a semi-dry area for our water pump and accumulator that will take the incoming water, which really doesn't have much pressure, and pressurize it to about 30 PSI, 30 to 40 PSI. We're here in the CR and the plumbers is using a, a thermal welder. It's a plastic welder that they use to create seals on the PVC. Right here, we're looking at the urinal here on the wall, the water line. And then we've got a shower behind him. And this shower is is a uh, is the kind that uses an automatic water heater, inline water heater. And we're going to have a, a kind of a wand-like shower head handheld. And then behind him, where the commode will be with a water line for a, a spigot and then we're gonna we're gonna duplicate all these connections up, up to the roof for future expansion what you see these, these two workers are using a, a level and this is a, a, a water level or a tube level so the, the tube is filled with water and they can use this over a long distance to find the exact level of a of a point on uh, really anywhere uh, so that's pretty unique I've never seen that done before but it's very very accurate here's a close-up of the bubble level if you can see it yeah, basically what looks like maybe about a 20 foot length of 3 8 inch hose filled with water and then using this you can you can find level points on two objects with very good accuracy so laser level $600 maybe $1500 bubble level $2 I was just having a discussion with myself. Uh, I was going to go to Wilcon and look for some more equipment, but behind me they're they're working on the first beam 
on top and I want to hang around and make sure that that gets constructed correctly because it's a long beam and requires splicing in the correct areas which is very important where those splices go and how they're done. And another thing I wanted to mention is that when you're working in this type of environment you want to be able to pick, choose your battles to win the war. Nitpicking uh, might be appropriate in some some construction but uh, I think what I mean to say is that choose your battles wisely and you end up winning the war. <laughs>